I don't know how you are going to judge this. I don't know what your opinion might be about this. Femi Fanikayo Day has blasted the Ogun State government and also he revealed this official document. Femi Fanikayo Day is a former Minister of Aviation. He came under the attack of Nigerians on Twitter after sharing an official memo released by the Ogun State government. While the official memo states that Dangote trucks are exempted from the total lockdown, the minister queries, former minister, he queried why the state government decides to be partial. In his tweet, he said that, but well, Abiodun not have to explain this. Are some more equal than others? It is a crying shame that a few sons of the Southwest bow, quiver, and tremble before their masters. Are Dangote drivers and trucks immune to COVID-19? Will you give similar exemptions to Southern businessmen? Shame on you. And um, as you can see right there, this is an official document. This is an official document. Office of the Secretary of the State Government, Office of the Governor, Ogun State, to whom it may concern COVID-19 lockdown, exemption of Dangote trucks in Ogun State. This is to confirm that Dangote PLC trucks are exempted from the restriction of movement and total lockdown of the state as a result of the coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic. You are requested to permit the trucks move freely within the state because of essential multi-sectoral services the company read us to the public. Thank you. And this is signed by Tokumbo Talabi, Secretary to the State Government. Now, on a good day, on a good day, if we have to look at this without, you know, being sentimental about it, we will say there's nothing wrong if the truck um, is actually there to service the nation. Do not forget that Dangote truck, Dangote is involved in some other businesses that has to do with food that is needed at this moment. And if Dangote truck is shut down, there won't be opportunities for this. But the question that we need to ask, although Femi Fani Kayode he speaks truth to power sometimes, but I do not feel comfortable with anyone that has been in government and we've not seen any positive uh, move or progressive move or ideas by that person when that person was in government. We, 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 we have a lot of issues, you know, there are a lot of issues a lot of Nigerians have a lot of issues with Femi Fani Kayode. And um, I see sometimes that it speak truth to power when they are not involved in government. When it seems as if their hands are not in the cookie jar, they try to speak, castigate the government. When castigating the government, they expose and bring out secrets that they themselves know about, they themselves might have been involved in before, they bring it out for us to see. Like I said initially before I digressed, there is no crime in this, but will this be equal? Will they allow this for everybody that is registered and has to take goods from one point to the other in Nigeria? That is the point. Now, over time, it is said that the North always go for that quota system. It is simply a system where they are giving opportunities when others do not have it they are giving professional let, let's just let's just say they are giving certain offices giving certain jobs giving in general they are just giving certain opportunities that other people are not benefiting from and a lot of people might look at this as a sectional form of nepotism even though um in in, in its totality it is not necessarily nepotism. It is more about monopoly, giving one person the opportunity to run the show at the detriment of other people. However, the tweet, Femi Fani Kayode's tweet, had generated heated debate amongst a lot of people in Nigeria. And I want you guys to also look into this too. Now, they, some are of different opinions you know, as regards this, some claim that Femi Fani Kayode is not educated enough, and some even claim that his education has not helped him to think. They are telling him that Dangote Trucks has been allowed to move around, 
so as to carry essential multisectoral services and that is what it is and nothing more now the problem like i said that i have with this why should dangote's truck be allowed alone as dangote bribed someone called for a favor allow my trucks to run business even though everyone is on lockdown and are we going to blame other business businesses you know, you know companies that have trucks that have um services to render to are we going to blame them for not actually being added into this clause do you think the letter should have been dangote trucks and so 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 other trucks or any other truck that is involved in this and this that has been registered with the um, state government or federal government will be allowed to move around someone tweets northern states or northern governor will never give such opportunities to any southwest businessman and um so another person said, can you please sir, name any southwestern businessman or woman who asked for and was denied an exemption to move goods during this period? That is the tweet of this person. And I want you guys to look into this too. The question is, this, how many southwestern businessmen do we have that can also operate, let's say, half of the capacity of Dangote, you know, that we can always know we always know that Dangote they say is the richest man and all of that in business in Nigeria. There's no one that can compete with, with him per se uh, because he has been given all opportunities. So he, he rose higher than any other person in Nigeria. Not because other people do not have money. Yes, they have their kind of money, maybe much more than Dangote. But when we talk about business in Nigeria, Dangote is just there, and no one else can compete with him. Now there are two opinions here one is saying as any businessman or woman in nigeria requested for this i want to ask you guys should they request for such exemption or is it supposed to be the job of the federal government or the state government to highlight probably in the newspaper or to have whoever to whomever whoever is ready to read or to know or to the companies that this so 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 and so company has been exempted these people can provide services like it that's how it's done in Sena climbs they make it known to the public so you know who is breaking law or who is not breaking the law this company this company anyone that has this and that can actually operate and work now this is what brings about some kind of misunderstanding i think they should do the right thing and do it properly that's my own personal opinion i don't know what your opinion is Someone say, FFK, why complicating life and creating controversy? In Europe, the government allowed all trucks to be operating because they transport goods and services all over Europe. Is Dangote the only truck owner in the country? Why was only his own permitted? That is the issue. Why is it only Dangote's truck that has been, that, that is only being permitted? Now, I don't know if you are in Ogun State and other trucks are functioning. Um, that is what I want you guys to come up with in here so we can have a balanced report. Is the state government allowing other truck drivers to deliver goods and services all over Ogun State? This is not all over the Federation. We are talking of Ogun State at the moment. Or is it just Dangote truck that has been given the monopoly to move around? Now, like I said, some people pitched tent with, you know, FFK while some pitched tent with dangote they claim that dangote should be permitted to do whatever he wants to do while some feel that ffk is actually busting the bubble showing that the north always want to have the upper hand even in the south of nigeria so i, I don't know dangote has businesses everywhere he has it in nigeria he has been able to employ people here and there um, you like it or not, is is there and is there to stay. Um, he has established himself everywhere in Lagos State. Is right now make um, you know, processing the oil refinery. They are already working on it to make sure that this is you know becomes operational and all of that. So this man is here, is here to stay. But what do you think? Do you think monopoly is being played here? Do you think or what's your opinion? Do you think Dankote should be allowed to run his business 
while others are not running their business or do you think uh, other people are running their business too it's just that this letter is specifically for dangote every other company that has trucks or businesses that have trucks will also be issued the same um, document what is your opinion if you're in Ogun state are there trucks in Ogun state that are delivering services or they shut down all of them and allowed only dangote because one big man called or dangote sent in a check that is what it is for now if you're not a member of this channel let's create together by you tapping on the subscription button and the red notification icon bell below it will alert you whenever our videos are uploaded thanks for stopping by